Good morning, this is Jacob Folger, artist sculptor, and today we're going to make a wire um, sculpture of a guitar. And um, we're going to be working with uh, wire, obviously, and this is actually um, 18 gauge uh, galvanized steel wire that I got from my local hardware store. It's a heavier gauge. A lighter gauge that we have, that I also have is uh, 20 gauge. So actually the higher the number, the lighter the gauge. And this is also galvanized steel wire. I'm not sure I'm going to use it, but I want to have it just in case I want to use it. They come in a, in a plastic kind of surround that has um, a spool in it. But still, even with the spool, you do want to be careful um, when you're unraveling it um, so that it doesn't get tangled. Also, we're going to be using uh, some pliers. Uh, Needle-nose pliers are the best. Um, I actually got these at my local hardware store, um, and they were in the bargain bin, and these were only a couple bucks. This type of plier I may or may not use but I have them handy is for beading and uh, the uh, grippers are not very rough or anything they're very smooth so they don't mar up the wire uh, so that's an option as well and then of course uh, some wire cutters and then I also have a couple things that I might use for forms for the hole that goes sound hole that goes in the guitar and then I've got a piece of paper and a pen and I'm going to just draw a sketch of what I uh, what I want to make so it's going to be pretty simple little sketch just something to go by Gives me the idea of size and all that sort of thing. I know it's not perfect. I'm not a great illustrator, but just to give me something to go by. And then a sound hole right there. So we'll just put it there. Just gonna get a little bit of wire going here. And uh, so the neck, I know, is going to be about that long. So I'm just going to uh, get the uh, get that going. And then you can follow the sketch. You can actually use it as a template. But um, you also can just freehand it. And I'm basically starting off by just making the shape of the guitar using my thumb to to curve it by pressing against it like that And you know, sometimes it's just nice if the uh, if the shape when you're shaping it, you know, just uh, making it more abstract as opposed to you know perfectly uniform and all that. And I'll give you a better handle on what that would look like to me as we move along here. But as you can see, the shape of the guitar is there now. Now, now it's just a matter of wrapping the wire around. Uh, I'm trying to do that around the neck. Now, the neck itself was not really supported, so as I as I turn the wire around it, I'm not trying to squeeze the neck down. Does that make sense? I'm not trying to compress it.
It's taking my time. And all I'm doing is just wrapping it. And going back and forth. Now, some some wire sculptors would would keep on cutting off the wire and, and splicing it. But I, I actually try to uh, not to do that. I try to just um, make it one piece. Or just a few pieces as opposed to uh, a bunch. Now what you can do, the thicker wire will be harder to bend and you can like, if it's slipping and sliding on the guitar, you can squeeze it down on it like that. But the other thing you can do is you can take um, a smaller piece of wire like this, a lighter gauge. You gotta watch out for those blind pieces. And uh, you can uh, secure the uh, heavier wire to the uh, to the base of the guitar by twisting a piece around it. Keeping in mind that this is a sculpture in progress, you know, it's, it's freehand. So it's going to be, you know, freehand, it's going to be creation in progress and it doesn't follow any necessary book or anything like that. But that helps to secure that piece of wire there now. Now we can work on the uh, the sound hole a little bit. I think maybe this uh, this size would be good. So I'm just going to. Uh, run the wire around that a few times. As a form. And then move it into place over it again, over the uh, guitar. Just taking your time to uh, to sculpt it.
definitely stylized. So I think I'm going to make uh, this this the bottom side. So it's going to be uh, displayed that way. And I'm going to start working on the stand itself now. So I'm going to get the wire, start thinking about terminating the wire. I think I want the actual stand to be about maybe this long. So I'm going to bend it here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm basically going to double up the wire there. I'm going to hold this end with a pair of pliers. And I'm going to uh, cut off. I'm going to go up above the guitar a few inches and cut it off there. And then... I'm going to twist this to strengthen the stand. The best way to, you know, to get better at sculpting wire is just practice make lots of different things and get used to maneuvering it and uh, you know it's a it's a fairly I mean I think it's you know the art form has been around but there's still a lot of growth in it I think there's a lot of space for uh, developing your own style and, and that sort of thing Just wrapping it around the, the what's going to be basically the pole to hold the guitar up in the air. So what I'm going to do is cut a little piece of the uh, 20 gauge <clears throat> and I want to uh, kind of se secure the pole to this portion of the guitar right here The 20 gauge wire is lighter, uh, a lighter gauge, so it's easier to maneuver. And basically, almost in a way, I'm sewing that uh, this pole to the uh, to the guitar to hold it in place. I'm going to take my wire cutters and you have to be careful when you're cutting it because um, 
you can you can cut off what you don't want uh, what you don't want to cut I mean you can easily make a mistake and cut something that you don't want to cut so I'm just suggesting that you pay attention to that flying wire uh, you don't want this wire on your floor so definitely sweep up after you're done or vacuum because it's very sharp and if you step on it it will um, uh, you know get in your foot now I'm going to cut the excess off here very close to the pole like that now I'm going to make a base and I'm going to make the base out of polymer clay this is uh, Sculpey 3 polymer clay it's a baked clay, so when you're done, you can uh, bake it, and, um, and it will become very hard and very durable. So I, one thing I do is I knead it, but that also conditions it, and it mixes all the ingredients up inside the clay. and makes it uh, good to uh, both sculpt and bake. And then I'll roll it into a ball. like that and then I'm going to hold it uh, against the table and form it so that it becomes flat on the bottom so it's almost like a little stand and of course you can shape it any way you like but this is how I shape my bases usually You can smooth it by drawing your thumb against it like that. You also, um, there's going to be a link down in the video description for uh, a couple smoothing videos on how to smooth polymer clay. So you can take a look at that and you can follow those instructions to get, get it really smooth. Or you can also texture it. You can um, take like a sculpting tool like this and you can, um, you can stipple it. Or you can do all kind, any a number of things to make it, um, you know, smooth or textured or whatever you like. I'm just kind of erasing those marks I just made. I just wanted to demonstrate that for you. The other thing you do, of course, is sign it. You can sign the base. Now I'm going to check the guitar and see how it looks. And uh, I. Okay, now I just want to check the guitar and see if I like it. And it's it's a pretty cool little guitar. Definitely stylized, definitely abstract, but it's very nice. It's very nice. So now what I'm going to do is I want to um, just make sure that uh, I trim anything that I don't want to show up there on the uh, on the wire. And straighten it any way I like. Just cutting off a little bit extra here. Watch your eyes now. Watch your eyes when you're cutting that. It's best to hold both ends when you do it. And then I try to get the uh, the stand part, the the pole. I guess I call that a pole. Um, you know the way I want it. get everything the way I want it so it's going on the uh, on the uh, the base and then I just uh, once I get the base made the way I like I stick it in the top of the base now you can do this one of two ways you can put it into the base like this and bake it like that or you can uh, take it you know just Put, put the pole into the base and then take it out and put it back later if you want. It's up to you. And then uh, you follow the uh, also in the video description. So you're going to find down there a tool and supply list, the smoothing videos, and then you're going to find baking instructions on how to bake the clay. And that's based on Sculpey 3 polymer clay. Not all uh, polymer clays have the same bake time and temperature, so just keep that in mind. And then, uh, 
This clay is black. This particular clay is black, but it comes in many different colors. And you can also change the color and do a finish on it if you like. And that is how you make a wire guitar. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, I have many videos along these lines. And all kinds of sculpture, a lot of clay work and wire as well. And uh, please like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And leave me a comment or question in the um, comment section. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.